Okay, YouTube, what is going on? I am here to review my Kindle 3, which I've had for almost a year now, and I didn't even think about reviewing it, so silly me. Alright, but here it is, Amazon Kindle 3. It's very thin, as you can tell. See, it's compared to my thumb, it's very thin. Um, hold on one sec, let me get something to compare now, the thinness. But that's just because I have a light on my camera. And it's dead on, and normally this screen will not glare at all. It's a very good screen. It, it looks exactly like a book if you're holding it. It looks exactly like a book. I can't. I couldn't even tell the difference. All right. See how it says slide to release the power slide to, and release the power switch to wake. The power switch is down here, right here on my thumb. But uh, while we're down here, let's look at these buttons right here. This is the sound buttons. There's plus and minus, just like a little volume rocker right here. And the reason they have those is you can have audio uh, books, you know. You can listen to your books if you want to. It'll read them to you. The voice does not sound the best. Um, I've only used it once for a few minutes, and I just, I like reading myself, reading myself. Uh, I don't like being read to by a computer. It's just kind of weird. But uh, it also, there's like an experimental category on here, that which I will show you. Um, sorry, my heater just kicked on and freaked me out. Alright, but yeah, there's an experimental category on here which you can put music into, and then that can control the uh, sound of your music too. So, yeah, let's uh, slide this right here. You just slide, and that will make that move. Alright, this, I'm reading I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell right now, but, uh, Let's just show you how it can turn pages really quick. These little buttons right here. There's a back button and a forward button. Like move a page backwards, move a page forward. Same buttons over here. So you can read it with your right hand or you can read it with your left hand. You can just hit the buttons. So let us let me show you this. I'm going to hit the back button right here. Watch the page. It's pretty cool how what happens. So it turned the page. There's forward. There's a... Uh, oh, bad words. <laughs> I want to show YouTube those bad words right there. But uh, it's very cool how it turns pages. Now, let's get to the reason why it has a keyboard. So let's hit the home button. And this will get to the home page where you can maneuver to what books you want to read. So I've read seven books on here so far. All these are very good books. Um, if people leave me some comments, I can do reviews on these books. If, I, if you guys want me to, just leave some comments and I'll uh, do a review on them. But let's hit the home button again. Alright, now what you can do is hit the menu button right here. Right there, see menu. And then this little page will pop up. And then you use this little thing to maneuver. You just hit shop and Kindle store. And I do not have Wi-Fi on, so I'm going to turn that on. And then I'm going to let that load for a second. But they have a Wi-Fi version, which is like $120. And they have a Wi-Fi and 3G version, which is like 190 that is the one I have, but I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi since I'm in my house. Wi-Fi is right up there. Um, I can't really get it to focus. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, you can see Wi-Fi is right up here. But, uh, yeah, we're in the Kindle store now. All right, there we go. So in the, we're in the Kindle store now. Um, oh, geez, it's very bright. Uh, okay, Kindle store. You can just browse books, audible, audible audiobooks, the Kindle singles, some newspapers, magazines. You know, there's all these options. And then they have some, actually, they're adding games to the libraries now. I have a couple games. I might show you those a little bit later in the video. But here, let me show you right here. You just go down here, and that little your little line will go in there with uh, that. Just type in a book you want. So let's type in Rangers Space Apprentice. Oops, delete. Um, you just hit the you just hit the middle button right here, and it will search. There it goes. Um, I've read every single Rangers Apprentice. I really recommend them. They are very, very f good books. Um, I've actually read this one, too. I have a friend out of the country that, uh, got it to me. 
it's a very good book, this uh, book 10. It's very good. I recommend it to anyone that's been reading the Rangers Apprentice series. All right, but let's get back to the actual book itself, the Kindle. You can hit pre-order, or but here, let's go to a book that's already out. Book 8, that's already out. Alright, you can hit buy, and normally it's like eight, eighteen dollars but on the Kindle store it's uh, ten ninety nine, and you get big discounts on uh, Kindle stores since they're since they're ebooks and not regular books. Uh, you can hit try a sample, which will download a sample just like that. You know, it's very quickly. Um, I guess I can download a sample for you guys since I've already read this book. I'm not going to buy it. Well, you can uh, add to wish list too. Forgot to mention that, and they got some like reviews that you can click on, and you can click that, and it brings up like a little page that you can uh, read what's about the book. See, you can just read a little thing about the book. But here, let's click try a sample, and it brings up a page. Rangers Apprentice Book Eight, The Kings of Clamo Book Eight. Yeah, just. It says your name right here. That's my name, Grant. It says sending in the free sample will automatically appear in your home screen when the download is complete. You can hit return to store, or you can just hit your home button down here. I'm gonna hit the home button really quick, like that. It should load up. And as you can see, I already have the free sample right there. Just click on it, and you can read right away. It is very quick. It is very good, and as you can see, it looks very much like paper. I don't have a book around me, but I have some paper right here. Oh, I can't show you that. That's credit card information. Uh, yeah, I can't really show you anything right now, guys. Uh, I might go get a book in a second. But it's very nice. Uh, very good. Okay, now... Alright, the up here, it says buy collections. You can just push up. And you can choose what you want to file all your books by, title, author, collections. Um, I have mine in collections right now because I have I have a lot of books in here. I have books to read, books read, or books to read and books read. Dictionary, they come with a dictionary. I couldn't delete them. I might as well keep them, I guess. I got a bunch of sample books. I have a few games. Let's open up this games folder right really quick. And as you can see, my dad wanted to try a book out on here. He never really got to it, but whatever. So I got some Minesweeper, Shuffled Row, don't know what that is. Every Word, don't know what that is. Blackjack. Um, let's just open up Blackjack really quick. This is not for gaming. If you're going to game, get an iPad or an iPod. But if you're just going to read a lot, this I definitely recommend over the iPad. All right. So, resume game. I guess I was playing a game, but it's very. I got 18. I'll, uh, where's the stay button? Oh, stand. There it is. He got 14, 19, and he beat me, son of a. You know what? <laughs> Alright, let's click deal. As you can see, it's, it's okay, you know. Um, I'm gonna hit. And you can have help on. I don't. Yeah, you can have help. It'll show you what to do sometimes, or give you hints. Uh, but I'm gonna hit. I got 15. I'm gonna hit again. Busted. Oh well. Um, let's go to the homepage again. All right, games aren't the biggest. Uh, um, if you're gonna game, I would not recommend. Uh, I would not recommend this if you're gonna just big gaming purposes. All right. Um, I got a magazine right here. Yeah, let me just open that up. That's time from last year. That's like right around where I got my Kindle. Alright, so as you can see, it has the magazine. You can just sort through here. Um, I actually didn't even mean to download this magazine, but it's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, you can view the articles and the sections. Um, yeah, but... It's nice. As you can see, this one's time. It's a good magazine to read. Uh, if, you, if you're looking for a nice magazine that has some news and stuff, so definitely check that out. Um, let's go home again. Alright, now you can hit menu once again, right here. Menu. 
it would bring up the menu. You go into that's how you can create collections, create a new collection. It'll bring up a menu, and you can just add your books to it. I'm not going to really go into that because it's really simple. Sync and check for items. Now, that that's very useful. Um, let me go grab my phone really quick. Oh, <laughs> stupid me. I'm recording with my phone. But I have a Kindle app on my iPhone, and I can download a book on my Kindle app, or I can download it on here. And they'll talk to each other, and they'll let you know. It'll they'll let each other know like where you read to on the other device, so it'll automatically sync uh, and update your library if you download a book on the other one. So it's very very nice. All right, uh, settings and experimental. Let's go to settings really quickly. Uh, don't look at my Wi-Fi. You probably already saw that, and it doesn't matter. You can't see my password. As you can see, I got the Wi-Fi and 3G version down here on the bottom. Uh, registration, I have like an account with Amazon, it's free to make, uh, Grant Freeders, as you can see, my name, device name, I named it, you can name it whatever you want, uh, and then there's three pages of settings, so you just hit over here, next button, voice guide, you can turn on, I do not like the voice guide, so I'm not going to turn that on, device email, now, what you can do here is like, if you have some... Uh, you know, some documents on your computer or something, something not too big. You can just email it to this. They automatically assign you an email. You can just email it to that. And then you can have some documents on here or a, a book. You can probably even email your, email yourself. I never used that before. Uh, device password, I have not used. I'm not going to use. I don't, it's not that uh, big of a deal. I don't care if anyone in my family picks this up and reads it. Um, Device time, I don't have the time on because, you know, I got a phone and a watch. and I think it'll just use up more battery than needed. Social networks, also just using more battery than needed. I have a phone, a, a computer, you know. Popular highlights. Now, what this is, is you're reading a book, and let's say 20 other people or 2,000 other people, they highlight one section of a book. Like, let's say this section right here was highlighted by a lot of people. It'll show up in your book in your book as highlighted saying that this was highlighted by a lot of people and normally the things that are highlighted are actually pretty uh pretty good to be highlighted like they it's not highlighted for no all right guys um as you can see i have a piece of tape here now and my uh words were cut off in the last clip of the video that is because i've recorded this two times now and both times i've showed you my personal information Last time I was holding a box of cards in front of it, and I accidentally dropped it, and you could see my personal information. This is not personal information on this page. It is on the next page. As you can see, personal info. Now it's blocked off. Hopefully the tape doesn't fall off, because I will be upset. For the third time, for my part, public notes is you can see what other people are writing in the books, what they're uh, writing. Annotations is pretty much the same thing. Except it's not public, it's your annotations. Like, you can just write what you think in the on each page, you know. Just write, like, write, oh, wow, once in, I did not expect that, you know. You can just write stuff, annotate your book. And then personal information, you can edit. Um, but I'm not going to do editing or show you my personal information. But all it does is uh, you can put whatever you want in there. I put my name and my number just in case I ever lose this thing and someone finds the personal information section. it will be uh, very helpful to me. Um... Alright, let's go to the home page again, hit menu, now all the way down here in the experimental, I can take this tape off now, hopefully this isn't going to mess up my screen, alright, so in the experimental section you have web browser, which you can launch the browser, um, I hit it, but it takes a, minute, takes a minute, as you can see I have some things that I've already been to, let's just go to Google really quickly, as you can see it loads pretty quick, there you go, Google. You can Google stuff, you know, nice and uh, easy. All right, let's just go. Oops, did not mean to hit back twice. All right, down to experimental. All right, MP3. I think I have some music on here. Let's turn up the. All right, as you can see, that's coming. The volume rock is right here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, yeah. So it's okay for music. It wastes battery, but it's okay if you're just bored and you want to have some music. And there is a spot to plug in headphones to listen to your audiobook. Uh, let me turn that off. There's a little thing right here, a little headphone jack. 
3.5 millimeter like all like iPod. Uh, you, 